what's going on everybody today we have one of the long-awaited videos that some of y'all have been asking for basically just uh, an update on my personal vehicle it's a uh, 2012 Volkswagen Jetta 2.5 liter five-cylinder SE with convenience and sunroof package y'all have seen it probably wrapped in that Hexus Kiwi Green along with 3M Saturn Gold Dust Black. This is how it looks right now. This is the original paint, which is LA7W Reflex Silver Metallic, Gloss Reflex Silver Metallic. As far as changes go, I mean, there's been quite a few appearance mods. It's still got the same old Voltex kit on it. Wheels are NK RPF ones. We got with the original, original racing caps. Um, we've got 17 by nine in the front with an ET45 and five millimeter spacers all around. And in the rear we have 17 by 10 ET38 with five millimeter, five millimeter spacers all around. So that brings it down to a 33 and it brings the 45 in the front down to a 40. I did kind of curb brush it a little bit, not paying attention. Um, they were originally silver, powder coated gloss black, really crappy powder coated that though. As far as tires go, we've got 235, 45, 17 is in the front and 255, 45, 17 is in the rear. Um, suspension is a little bit different. I am running BC Racing BR coilovers with the softest dampening available. As far as this front bumper, this is Black Forest Industries Golf R replica bumper with Helix Mark 7R Jetta headlights or replica Jetta headlights. These were purchased on eBay. Or 350 bucks. I, I do see them now selling on other websites such as Euro Tuning, Black Forest for like 500 and up, 600 and up, which is outrageous. <laughs> Exterior goes we've got Stop Tech Street uh, rotors and pads for the front and for the rear. As you can see, we've got the red calipers in the rear because I did do a full independent rear suspension swap, getting swap, getting rid of that the the rear torsion beam. It's a way way better ride. Um, I did that with a couple buddies in my garage. Still sporting the USP Motorsports Audi replica tail lights. But I smoked them out in Orgoid 8300 dark smoked film. Still rocking the same badging, just with the blacked out inner portion. We've got some blacked out Texas plates. This is a decal. This is not real. You can kind of hear. <laughs> Still rocking that AWE Catless. I mean, not Catless, AWE track, track Edition exhaust, Catback exhaust, with USP Motorsports Catless test pipe. I've been meaning to get a video of everything and along with the engine tune and a few other little things I've done, but as far as appearance goes, that's pretty much it. Oh, and US Millworks tow hook license plate bracket with quick release. I did have a have to order another one of these rods just to accommodate this front bumper. Yeah, this is from peeling the vinyl, sadly. I only waited like a month before I wrapped it and when I peeled it off, it did peel back all that paint. Right there, right there, or right there. Same for there. Also was running JDM password quick releases. Uh, I'll probably get those filled in later, but now I swapped over to, frick, I gotta 
think it's, I don't know if it's quick. I honestly forgot, forgot the, the brand name of those, but if y'all are kind of curious as to where I got them from, I can go to the Kuba link, but literally it's as simple as that. Just super easy to just remove and a couple bolts underneath and then the grill as well. Oh, also the grill. This is ECS Tuning's carbon fiber badges grill. Not sure if it is real carbon. I think it might be carbon overlaid over a plastic, to be honest, but it gives it that sleek look. Especially with the plate and everything. Oh, and um, simply carbon fiber, carbon fiber license plate with that clear cover over it. As far as should be it for exterior. Um, as far as the independent rear suspension, it's got a whole bunch of goodies. Um, Super Pro bushings here and there. Still utilizing stock sway bar. Um, I'm hoping to do a quad exhaust. I do have the other tips, AWE tuning tips. I just need to get the, the piping routed and do all that little nonsense here and there. Um, as far as interior goes, not much difference um, we've got our our passport x50 um, radar with um, the blend mount courtesy of obsessed garage thanks for getting me onto that <laughs> and we did swap out all this gray or beige plastic to the entire upper half of the vehicle to GLI blacked out plastic all the grab handles dome lights this right here as well and then I got it all wrapped in faux suede which is fake suede essentially so you got the fender system right there all that all that jazz everything works and functions functions as it should let's see if we can get a better angle Roof. It's a really, really sleek look. A lot of people when they get in here, they're pretty blown away by it. It's not something you see in your basic Jetta, to be honest. And then my interior trim, I just swapped it out to this silver brush trim. I I had the like the black plastic, weird type of type of trim that comes in these. Five cylinder Jettas. I do also want to swap these out to chrome, chrome ones and then wrap them gloss black. Um, as far as interior goes, I mean, that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm using that MPAL CD slot phone dealio, which I bought on Amazon. I included everything down below. That day is wrapped. It's not um, an overlay. It is vinyl wrapped. I actually had the entire trimming wrapped in that but i got kind of bored of it so i just left it there for now because it's had a couple of scratches and nicks here and there tracks control button i was gonna make a video on that when i installed it but of course i didn't um that is where i routed it the the button for the radar detector Got your Euro switch right there. Husky liner mats. Um, I actually got a really good deal on these. I think I only paid like 70, 80 bucks shipped for all four. Really helps, especially with my dog. I mean, she's everywhere. You can see this dog hair and her slobber everywhere, but I love her so much. I really don't even care. That's the, that's the main reason why I haven't deleted this back seat. Otherwise I would if I, if I didn't have a dog. As far as the engine bay goes. Oh, also simply carbon fiber. You can see them. The help stem caps. You can see I love gloss carbon fiber. It's pretty much everywhere. There's the engine bay. I have made a video on catch kind of install, valve cover install, but Everything's pretty much the same as far as that goes. Still holding up just great. I do get a crap load of blow-by though. I mean, 
as you can see I tried cleaning it up but it is it is really really filthy in there like I'm constantly having to clean this up I wish I would have got got in you can see all the oil right there Ugh. I wish I would have got in non venta atmosphere just um, recirculating catch can but you live and you learn integrated engineering valve cover oh that is hot integrated engineering venta atmosphere catch can with jigs hardware um, blacked out fittings 90 degree I've made a video on all this same for that um, red top coil packs Audi R8 oil and cooling caps the spool and brake delete kit which I had to modify when I installed the catch can just because the routing USP Motorsports cold air intake which gets routed right behind there with a little sleeve just to kind of keep the, the water low I almost did hydrolock this engine so gotta play it safe um, it does have integrated engineering stage one engine and trans tune I'll go ahead and make a video here soon but when I can you can see USP Motorsports catless test pipe which they no longer produce discontinued so if you find one buy it ASAP but I mean yeah there's really not much to it oh my, I don't know if I'm missing a couple things got the catch can valve cover the spool and vacuum pump brake delete kit we've got integrated engineering's block off plate down there which probably yeah you definitely cannot see this did come with a felt battery cover swapped it over to a black plastic battery cover we've got our engine engine computer right here and you got your transmission one right here which has a lovely integrated sticker but you can't even tell um, a relay for the fog switch I mean for the fog lights which are now mark 6r LED lights the wiring for the trax control which gets routed to the ABS right there really hot out today everything I'm touching I'm just burning the crap out of myself As you can see helix right there on the headlights that carbon fiber USP Motorsports engine bay dress-up kit all around um, red line tuning hood strut pop kit I did have USP Motorsports but it gave out on me and I contacted them wanting to buy just the strut and they were like you have to buy the whole kit again so I was like you F y'all, so went ahead and bought that and this has been holding up really great, no complaints. The boat harbor kit, mirror caps are still wrapped in that satin gold dust black. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much all there is to it, I mean, not much else done. It's just as simple as that. Really loving that Votex kit. I would love to get the original bumper again, but, and do the Votex kit in the front. I do still have the lip. I was involved in a front end collision on the driver's side. So that was the main reason for going with the Mark 6 Golf R uh, front bumper. But I, I did love the way it looked with the lip. So maybe I'll go back to that one day. I just need to buy an original an original bumper and then get that sprayed and everything and then get it rewrapped in who knows what color entire vehicle is coated with Adams polishes ceramic spray coating layered with ceramic paste wax and then just maintained with ceramic boost every now and then but yeah if y'all have any other questions or Want to know what else has been done, or I will try and get that stage one engine and trans tune integrated engineering video up when I can. That is another video I've been meaning to do. 
But yeah, if y'all enjoyed this, go ahead and comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Later.